a question. So on the end, you know, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be looking at the uh, you know this window in order to you know know your uh, your uh, question, and uh, I will try to answer as much as I can. Uh, during this training, um, we may feel these you know, machines noise, you know, for the pumping and turning on the fans and so on. Uh, because you know, I have uh, two machines in front of myself, but uh, you know, just uh, you know, um, I'm gonna just uh, you know, keep it as a sleep mode, a uh, sleep maintenance mode, so you know, to minimize the noise. So just uh, bear in mind, please. All right. To begin uh, with, I'm gonna start the uh, you know one of the video from Mimaki Australia regards to uh, you know, 10 minutes presentation of this product from my uh, YouTube. If you can't see the sound of a um, sound of a video, please let me know. Please speak up, so I will. I'm happy to correct it. History lesson: Did you know that Mamaki created the world's first high-definition eco mold solvent printer at low cost back in 2002? Yes, the JV3 series revolutionized the way we thought and produced graphics. It was really a game changer. All right, what the JV3 series did, it actually changed market perception. So the industry and the market was actually drawn to that conclusion regarding how they should be producing graphics. It was revolutionary at the time. Okay, and I can remember my phone constantly ringing. Brad, I need to know about this printer. Brad, I need to know what's this JV3. It was a really amazing time to be in print and wide format game. 17 years later, we're starting to see similar synergies with the current product that Mamaki has in its portfolio. The UCJV300 series LED UV printer cutter is starting to revolutionize the market currently where we're seeing industry change because of the features, the benefits and the application diversity of the UCJV300. Stay tuned, come back and I'll tell you the top five features regarding the UCJV300. is UCJV300 series. This is a LED UV printer cutter in the one platform. We have four models in the series. So we start at 750 mil, go to 107, then go to 1.3 and 1.6 meters wide. So lots of versatility there regarding printer choice. All right, first and foremost is the application of what we're actually doing, LED UV curable printing. All right. There's so much benefits regarding LED and the way we're moving forward with ink chemistry, we're changing the game, how we actually are putting print down to various products. The beauty of LED is very low power consumption. All right, so very economical and very green solution to run. But the big feature here is the immediate post-production features. We are not waiting for the ink to dry. We're not waiting for any drying or outgassing. We can actually post produce graphics immediately once printed. That means laminate immediate, immediately. That means cutting immediately, which you can go back through the machine. So we've got immediate post-production benefits across the board with the UCJV 300 series. All right, the next one is simply media choice. We have got such a wide opportunity of solutions regarding the UCJV 300 series. All right, and the reason why we don't really try and restrict and say, okay, you need to use a particular coated or uncoated stock. We normally just portray to the market, this is your restrictions and it's more what the machine can act physically handle from a roll to roll point of view. So for example, we can take 40 kilos of roll weight up to 250 mil in diameter and one mil and under in thickness. Now, if you're within those guidelines, we can actually try and print on the product. 
our minimum width of product is 210 mil. All right, so there's such a wide gamut of opportunity on what we can print on. And that is the beauty of the Mamaki UCJV300 series. We are opening up opportunity for the end user. For example, if you wanted to print onto a colored stock, okay, we can print onto a colored stock. Okay, if you wanted to print on a paper stock that's uncoated, we can print onto a paper stock that is uncoated. So lots of choice and versatility, which is changing and revolutionizing the print industry because you're creating the solution for your application. We're not restricting you in any way. Also, we're not adding any heat to the print process. So we're actually printing LED UV, curing, purely pinning from on top. There is no underneath heat that we're actually changing the composition or anything of the films to actually finish our prints. So everything's happening on top and nothing's happening underneath. So that's great for stability, for um, print quality and print production speeds because we're not generating huge amounts of heat to actually create a finished product. Really important with the UCJV 300 series. Now let's go over some of the print benefits regarding the UCJV 300 series. We can actually do multi-layer printing to create different effects and benefits and application solutions regarding the UCJV 300 series. So we can print all the way up to five layers simultaneously. It's the beauty of LED UV printing. We can multi-layer without the worry of drying because we're doing all that immediately. Five layers, simultaneous printing. Now you might say, okay, why do you need to do five layer printing? Well, think of this. Imagine if you could create a two-way retail window graphic, all right, with the one print. Okay, so we'll have a black channel in the middle, two outside whites, then your inside view graphic and your outside window view graphic, or from the one graphic and the one application. Huge, huge benefits on the UCJV300 that you simply just can't do with other formats. So that's up to five layers printing simultaneous on the UCJV300. All right, so let's talk about the cutting features in the UCJV300 series. We've got all our line standard features regarding our kiss cut, our half cut, which is our die cut feature, also mark detect, all those features are applied in the UCJV300, but we've gone one step further. We've got a feature there now that's called ID cut. Now what this does, this enables us to actually produce an identification mark so we can do batch printing and cutting. So think about this, you're doing various jobs in the multiples all over a roll. You can actually apply that print job, take it out, laminate that job, bring it back in with the ID registration mark information. We can now pick up that mark and we will actually source the correct data to cut that job. Brilliant, brilliant functionality. Why can we do it? We've now got a software working in the background called Cutting Link that stores all the cut data, waiting for the detection of that identification code, and then it will send down the correct data to do it. So a really autonomous, really great improved feature that we now have on the UCGV 300 ID cut. So let's talk performance guarantees regarding the UCJV300 and the Mamaki Ink Systems. So Mamaki's work with both Avery Denison and 3M to align certain programs and certainty performance guarantees that give you peace of mind. So we've got those platforms both with Avery as a performance guarantee, and we can even go up to a match component system warranty with 3M with our LUS 200 inks also. And one more value-added benefit regarding our ink solution, we now have a clear option that we can apply on the UCJV300. So if you wanna provide a high gloss spot varnish or even a matte type clear finish, 
we now have that solution also regarding the UCGB 300 series. Here at Mamaki, our slogan is powering creativity. And that's exactly what the UCJB 300 series does. The choice is yours. Application diversity, setting you apart from your competition. If you're looking for a new sign and display, commercial wide format printer, you just must look at the UCJB 300 series. Thanks for watching. For more videos on Mamaki, please make sure that you subscribe to our Mamaki channel. All right, quick history lesson. All right, gentlemen, thanks for watching uh, and uh, you know, the very quiet, very patient. Uh, so it was 10 minutes video, you know, regards to explaining what's the feature of UCGB 300. Basically, you know, there are lots of things, you know, the unique point from, uh, you know, the you know, the legacy, you know, eco solvent printing or even you know, Mimaki's latex printing. So basically, you know, three, ba you know, let's put together you know, four words. <laughs> the benefit of UCGV 300. First, it's instant drying. So UV LED ink, you know, instantly cures and you do not need out gas like, you know, eco solvent printing for, you know, the 24 to 48 hours. So you can do post processing immediately after printing, such as cutting, such as uh, pressing, and such as laminate. Or even you can bring to the uh, you know, outside in order to put into uh, you know, the retail shop as a signage. It can be done in same day. The second is uh, the no heat, so which you know gives you the possibility of uh, you know multi purpose of uh, the media choice. So not only uh, you know the what's you know eco solvent printer supports the banner and the PVC you know the self adhesive materials, uh, but you also have a capability of heat sensitive printer, uh, heat sensitive media, such as the uh, you know more uh, I would say you know the vinyl without a, without liner or adhesiveness. So if you put a static cream for the you know, non-adhesive, but you know, the, you know, stuck with a static uh, window film, uh, there are lots of people what's trying to do with a solvent ink or a latex ink, but because of the amount of the heat generated from a latex printer for curing, it can be done, but you know, if you, you know, end up doing a tiling, so putting a more than two people and two pieces, you know, the side by side, then you will see a discrepancy of the size a lot. But UV LED, uh, the technology, there is no heat other than just a 30 something degree it's generated from an UV LED surface because it's a you know, part, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a piece of you know, electrical semiconductor inside, so which generates a little bit of a, um, the heat, but it gives you the possibility of non heat during the non dramatic heat during the printing, so you can do you know, the face to face. Also, uh, the UV LED ink, you know, the stays top of the media, so you can print on uncoated media, such as uncoated paper, uncoated uh, you know, polyester telephthalate as a PET film, which is non-PVC included, such as, you know, the, like a window film, or even for the you know, vehicle sticker film, you know, currently getting pop more popular. The third thing is uh, the multi-layer printing. So UV LED, uh, the technology from Mimaki supports white ink and clear ink. So which gives you, you know, at least one layer, but then it goes up to five layers printing. So you can do um, uh, color on the white on the background and the color on the top to begin with. But you can have a color on the bottom, white and color again in order to make the uh, day and night, uh, you know, backlit, uh the application you know so uh in the daytime there is no backlight but you can still see the real density of an image but when the night has come the people switch on the light 
but it gives you know the you know, mathematically two layers of a print between the you know the back side and the front side of a white layer. So it gives you the uh, twice denser you know the density from uh, you know in front of backlight. So the density won't be looked at and washed out. So you can do you know window film as a five layer as uh, you know the video the Brad was Brad was explaining on a video. So it goes up to five layers. Also, you can do you know cut, uh, you know the contour cut, top of the five layers. <coughs> Fourth thing is basically ID cut supporting. So not only a printer is a print and cut machine, but it gives you a capability of ID cut. So ID, you know, little barcode which gives you, uh, you know, which gives you know, printing data of uh, information of a data ID and rotation, you know, the rotation information. So what it does is after printing on the UCJB, and you can go to a post the post process such as a laminate. And after laminate, you can put back to the UCJV for cutting process. At that cutting process, you don't need to worry about what the direction was printing because the machine reads that an ID data along with the crop mark, the cutting crop mark, cutting ratio mark, in order to support the, in order to know the, you know, the rotation of the data. Also, it the printer automatically pulls the cutting data from a cutting server. So you don't need to you know, come you know, in front of the machine to the computer and come back to printer, come back to computer in order to um, output the uh, individual cut data um, individually. So which you know, the basically saves 20 to 25% of the manpower, even though you can print whole world during the day and laminate, Come back to uh, UCJV 300, and you can do you know the cut individual data overnight because the machine, the ID cut is capable to read the next barcode, next ID after you know finishing a current data, current cut job. So there are you know quite a few customers is doing that overnight. As long as customer is fine, that's the uh, you know. Customer can allow in you know, a couple of millimeters offset because you know the during the uh, you know 50 meters of a uh, continuous cutting, you know you may you know you know experience the uh, some discrepancy for the uh, you know, one mil or two mils of the you know, cut you know, the cutting discrepancy because it's not like perfectly aligned for you know like 50 meters for cutting, but at least it has a capability doing so. All right, just to remember those four points, you know, just in you know, a technical perspective as well. So you don't need to remember you know, all of 50 pages of you know, a product document, but those four pages, you know, sorry, sorry, those four points are basically, basically the reason of Mimaki has sold over 400 UCJV 300 over the last three years to Australian and New Zealand um regions uh, answering Jerry's question uh, on the chat uh, chat display uh, can we do it five layers plus cut layer in case wants to print a clear film on double side printing we use five layer print color white uh, black white color can we add this five layer print cut as well let me show you something um all right, what we've got is this UCJB series uh, sample book, right? So this sample book is basically, you know, distributed to, you know, total of uh, probably, you know, over 500 pieces in Australia and New Zealand as well. Depends on, you know, the region, you probably get, you know, the, you know some, uh, some region probably get more than 200, some region could get only uh, 10 or something, but, you know, doesn't matter, you know, we distributed, um, 500 pieces. The first page of this um, uh, sample book, you know, has this, you know, the page. What it does is it's showing the uh, an application benefit of uh, five layers printing, 
right? And this five layers printing was done with the data, you know, you know, cut the job included. So it's got in the same job, one layer only color, two layer, three layer, four layer, five layers, and this, you know, control cut. This, uh, you know, film cut was done with uh, uh, cut data embedded, in the included in a job. So that proves that the five layer plus, you know, the cut layer can be done. It wasn't cut with UCJB 300 because it was, I you know, the polyester pet film, uh, poly, sorry, polyester uh, window film with, you know, pet, you know, hard, li hard liner uh, film. So I used our, you know, the flatbed cutter table, uh, CG, sorry, CF22, you know, cutter table with a tangential and a high pressure tangent, tangential knife in order to cut, you know, square and properly. But you know, this ID cut data, you know, was sent over from raster link, um, uh, the same job as the ID cut data. So let me just, you know, go through. Oh, Jerry is typing question. Do you have additional questions? Uh, when you transfer the file to raster link pro, will it take as a six layer? Basically, yes. What it does is um, <coughs> the artwork should be done as uh, two layers, all right? So that means, you know, only uh, uh, front, the front data and back data and rest of the three layers inside, such as a white lay two white layers and one, you know, black layer, which, you know, technically called the shading plate, shade shading layer, those can be um, those can be um, generated in rastering. So as a designer, designer's pro artwork, you know, designer's perspective, you just need, you know, the two artwork file, two artwork files. Then rastering has a capability to output, uh, you know, add the uh, two white layers and one shading plate. And then one of the artwork from a designer needs to have this line, the spot color line as a cutting line, right? In order to let raster link to recognize as the cut layer. So in that case, when you, uh, when artwork designer transfer two artworks into the raster link, one job, one artwork has the, uh, you know, the line, the cut line, the spot color with a cut line, and then if you create two layers plus cut, also three different layers. So, you know, the, you need to compose it as a total six layers of a job in rastering. All right, uh, let me go through to the uh, in a little bit of uh, you know, explanation of this in you know, a sample book. So that's showing, uh, you know, five layers more, you know, the more details. So it's got a fast layer with color. So you don't really see the, uh, because it's a transparent film, you don't really see the color, but it actually prints the, uh, you know, the lady with a white dress. So this can be done with a eco solvent printer, latex printer in general, and, uh, you know, the, any Mimaki UV printer without printing white, right? So as soon as it's done that, um, it reduces the capability of the you know, putting the window graphics or, uh, you know, the you know, printing on a colored film, right? So any singles is involving, you know, white layers. The second one is uh, the two layers printing. So it has got, you know, only solid white on the back and the colored data. So this mostly, you know, the probably, you know, 60 to 80 percent of a popular, you know, the white ink uh, application in the market. So people is putting the, uh, you know, um, the window graphic, uh, which, you know, display can be seen from, uh, you know, from the outside. And there is no, you know, um, nothing to interrupt from backside because it's a white, you know, white layer is involved. The third one is the three layers. So what it is, is on the backside, You've got the same data in you know, a lady with white dress and the front side too. For this data, uh, you have the you know, white layer on uh, between two colored layer to design. So what it does is during the daytime, you can see the proper density of this lady. 
right? But um, after the you know, night has come and the people put their backlight from the you know, backside, the light box, you still see the similar density of uh, you know, the graphic because it's helping out, you know, the backside layer is helping out the uh, you know, people on the, the you know, graphic on the front side. So if you do the same backlit with the two layers, as soon as backlight, you know, start, uh, the backlight has lit, uh, backlight, you know, is turned on, you will see this lady is really, you know, color is washed out. Okay. The fourth layer, now the fourth layer, it's hard to explain probably, but let me just try doing this. Right, what it does is, you know, the front side has a you know, lady with, you know, white, uh, white dress. But the other side, you have a display with a you know, lady with a red dress, the dark red dress, as well as the, uh, you know, little bit, uh, um, the background with a night city, as well as a dark sky, right? What it does is, during the daytime, you will see only the lady with a white dress, but as soon as the people turn on the, uh, you know, backlight, you start seeing the uh, you know, red dress behind the white dress. So you can see, you can have the, uh, you know, two different, well, not exactly different, um, the design, but you can have the same shape, same type of the design, but different color in order to make the, uh, you know, this um, uh, four layers uh, printing. So four layers printing is really, you know, the you involving, you know, the skill or, you know, uh, creativity of the designer. Because without having the, the those designing skill of a same image, but, you know, different artwork, you know, different colors and artwork, you can't have this done. So, which is out of support, you know, support range from uh, Mimaki's, you know, printer's technical support because it's more, you know, um, it's more, you know, graphic designers, uh, you know, involved. So you need to have more creative design by graphic designer in order to have this done. So unfortunately, you know, from Mimaki Australia, you know, the customer's list, we don't really see the, a lot of people doing this. You know, I probably see like one or two people, you know, has tried before, but I'm not sure if they really found a lot of jobs from that. But for example, you know, um, in Australia, you know, there are lots of, uh, you know, the display is involved, the light box display involved in the you know, airport signage, you know, in the, you know, the, in the airport, the, the hallway. So there are lots of opportunity or you know, even cosmetic stores, you know, like, uh, you know, David Jones or, you know, yeah, those type of people, you know, has the uh, um, lots of like light box with a um, cosmetic stand and so on. But anyway, let me just, you know, go through. The last one is five layer printing. So what it does is, what it has is the, the lady with a white dress, but the backside, totally different lady and different color of you know, design. So it's a two different design. But what it is, is having those two, you know, the graphic on the back side and front side, and has two layers of white inside and one shading plate, shading layers involved. So what it does is even you have a light inside, you won't see the uh, even color or the, the design uh, seeing through from the other side because the shading plate, shading layer, which is uh, you know, the middle density of the black, is helping out to interrupt or to not to interrupt the white layer, the, the, the first layer by a back, back side layer. So even you've got the uh, you know, this side, which is uh, you know, inside, inside, uh, inside the graphic, you won't see the piece of other lady with white dress at all. So this is just a capability of the applications of uh, five layers with a cut. So this five layer, because you know there are lots of cafe in Australia, especially in Sydney and Melbourne. So there are a few people, few customers of UCJB 300 prints like five layers of a window, you know, inside and outside the display for like all day long. 
So what it's good, what it's good about is because it's using same amount of the ink for five layers printing in a one you know specific place of the media. So their ink consumption is more than five times of other customers. So once you done the you know, 500, sorry, 50 meters of the uh, 50 meters of uh, you know the five layers printing continuously, you probably see like a more than 10 liters of the ink is using for printing. So it's good for you know really as a Mimaki distributors and consumable business as well. Also, what's good thing is um, if you have the uh, normal, you know, the solvent, you know, eco solvent or latex or even, you know, the UV printer with a four color or CMYK, light stain, light magenta setting without white, the normal, um, the trading value of, uh, you know, this uh, sign display graphic for market now is if you print the you know, polymeric, polymeric uh, the silver adhesive vinyl and putting into uh, just a, uh, you know, graphic on the wall, um, the selling price of this is between 30 to 40 dollars per square meters. So you need to shrink really the time to involve and the ink cost to involve like that. But if you start doing the, this, you know, white involved for the uh, uh, window graphics or labels or those things, those jobs can be sold, you know, at least 200 square meters per uh, square meter. To, yeah, 200 dollars per square meter. So, which gives you at least six times more expensive outcome, of uh, six times more value of outcome. Um, you know, is expected. So, there are lots of people you know, having this UCJ V300, which returns the investment of the printer with only a couple of months. Where they feel the difficulty of you know getting a return of investment of a solvent and latex printer even for three years, right? So this is where you know the where good salespeople talks like. But anyway, you know let's skip that because it's more technical training. So the other explanation of the uh, stock, you know the sample piece, this was done on a 3M. Um, the colored film, 3M Scotch color colored film on the gold metallic. And it's basically printing, you know, the white as one layer. And the other job is without white. So you can still, you know, design like with white to interrupt or to avoid the, uh, avoid the, you know, background of the media, or you can still utilize the media's touch and feeling on the graphic. Depends on the, uh, you know, how you design it. This is print and cut sticker, right? So print and cut can be done in one machine. <clears throat> ah, this is what we call the, uh, the, the copper material. It's kind of, uh, you know, the, um, the canvas type of thing, you know, and, uh, you know, it ha also has the metallic uh, background. And uh, it's a good design because, you know, sometimes it's only white. Somewhere it includes a white and the color to interrupt to, you know, the shade, the uh, you know, media feeling. But some part it's still, you know, printing without white. So again, this is more like, you know, the, the graphic designers involved for the designing. Uh, canvas. The canvas also can be done with the solvent, the eco solvent. The banner material, it can be done as a solvent as well. You've got the you know, 3M uh, silver metallic film here. This is what you've got on a synthetic paper. The synthetic paper is like, you know, it, it has a hard coating on the paper. So eco solvent ink, you know, is hard to print because the ink doesn't go, you know, and uh, stick to the uh, media. So it can be done by only a latex or uh, the UV LED. This is backlit film with uh, the, 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 pet, the pet design. So this is like, you know, how, you know, how dense 
of the printing you can make with the UV with only one layer. Normally, when you get, you know, when you achieve this, you know, the density with the eco solvent or latex, so you at least need a two strikes, two layers to print a much dense color of the, uh, you know, print. But it can be done by, uh, you know, one, just a one single pass, one layer for, uh, you know, the high density. The last one which I want to explain is, you know, self adhesive material with a laminate, right? The UV LED printing on the uh, you know, gross PVC material because you know the most of uh, you know our Mimaki's distributor is selling you know the printer with combination of uh, the gross PVCs. When you print with uh, you know, UV LED, um, UV LED ink, most of the time it comes out as a texture surface or matte surface. So where you only print, uh, where wherever you printing, I know the ink, you will miss a grossness of uh, grossness of a surface. For example, you know this is you know printing a sticker on the gross PVC, gross self, uh, gross uh, self adhesive vinyl. So wherever it's not printing, it's still glossy finish. But as soon as you feel the, you know, the way it's printed, it remains that, you know, it you know, becomes a matte finish. And wherever you have a design with a color, you know, ink, the color is involved, also white is involved, you can really see the texture feeling. So sometimes people like it, but most of the customer in the sign display industry, they want everything to be you know, flat and glossy, right? So in that case, most of the job of a self adhesive binary with a, uh, the gross PVC, you need laminate, right? But as a second affection of a laminate on UV LED, this is what the people call the silvering. What it does is on the media, the UV ink sits top of a uh, you know, media, so it makes a bump and dance while it's printing. The bump and density is in you know, a couple of micron, like you know, 20 or 30 micron, but it still the, the different uh, height on the media. Okay, if you put the uh, you know, laminate top of that, what's going to happen is the, you know, where it has you know, the, you know, the, the bump, which is fine because the laminate film contacts, contacts, uh, contacts the ink. But where it has a you know, dent between the you know the ink dot and the ink dot, this is where the laminate film doesn't contact to, and it occurring the you know, pocket of a little air. And that little air after the laminate, you will see as the uh, more like a metallic texture kind of thing. Some people like this, but most of the people use the squeezing, you know, in order to install the you know printed film to their surface. So wherever you, you know, you squeeze the media, you will see that texture is gone because those air pocket is all gone. But wherever you don't squeeze, you will see still an air pocket. This is what we call silvering, right? From, uh, you know, Mimaki's, um, Mimaki Australia's experience, more than 60% of the people, you know, putting uh, in a laminate on the printed job because they want more, you know, outdoor durability uh, on the outdoor signage. And even for indoor signage, people just want, hey, you know, print on the PVC, put a laminate on. What's going to happen is most of the people is using, you know, even combination uh, the laminate, but those combination laminate still has a you know, thin layer of a laminate glue. So those will create an air pocket, you know, during, you know, laminating the, uh, you know, the laminating uh, UV, the UV printed film, right? I would say there are only three or four, a few, you know, the product of laminate is available in order to support those laminate, uh, those are silvering. One example is uh, what we call uh, the 3M, 3M Ecolab, right? 
this 3M equal up, you know, we've got, you know, the customer uh, of UCJV 300 running the uh, uh, Mimaki UCJV 300, and they have helped us for the you know, company van wrapping with this film. So even, you know, you can, you can touch and feel for that the company van when you have a chance, but then you know, those black part is not, you know, have not seen any, uh, you know, silvering effect because uh, this uh, vehicle, uh, this um, the wrapping film from 3M has especially the thicker layer of uh, glue. So while you are applying the you know, laminate on the ink surface, those glue is helping out to penetrate the uh, those air pocket part. So you will see, you know, the you know during the laminate process, those air pocket is gone because the laminate, you know, the laminate glue is pushing this out. So you will see really the you know, dense and the flat um, the part, right? So as long as we tested it, it worked. But the issue is, you know, it's very expensive because you know, it's equivalent price of the you know, cast film from a 3M IJ180 and uh, matching laminate film. So this is a matching of uh, the L, uh, sorry, 3M LX480. And the matching film is 8,000 something, uh, you know, the, the product code. So the matching for uh, the matching stock for two rolls uh, combo of uh, PVC print film and laminate is over $3,000. So it's really expensive piece of, uh, no, piece of kit. Comparing to that, Mimaki also have and selling the, uh, you know, um, the laminate film which has the thicker glue, which is imported, the imported from Europe, uh, where the, you know, either you know, Spain and Portugal. And, uh, you know, the, this is not a cast of film, so outdoor durability isn't, you know, isn't guaranteed like uh, in a couple of years, but uh, at least it can be combined with the generic film, uh, no, sorry, generic, you know, purpose on the sign display with a polymeric and monomeric film. And we've tested with this, you know, uh, black part of the, uh, you know, image. But then, uh, from, uh, you know, immediately from, uh, you know, out of laminator, you will see like uh, there is no, you know, air pocket exists. Even you've got the, you normally have the lots of, you know, air pocket happens on the small texture, you know, on the rivers. So this is like, you know, the how you can see, you know, how hard to, uh, how hard to prove that they are this thing work because we've got a you know, solid magenta and you've got the you know, reverse text lower to three points. But you can see that the, uh, you know, they are a little bit like a you know, couple of micron of the, uh, you know, air still remains, but which is on the same level as you will get on the, uh, you know, the normal eco solvent or latex printing. But this sample proves that the, uh, the Mimaki laminate film can prevent the amount of the silvering, you know, from a UV texture printing. Now we've got one more, you know, sample I want to show you is that this one. This is a sample, you know. This is a bond paper, you know, printing. The bond paper, or, you know, I would say just a digital printing paper is handled by lots of an offset printing company, you know, first printing from newspaper, from, uh, you know, the magazines, you know, or, you know, text, you know, the, for the uh, text book for their school, those type of uh, people. But what we prove here is it's printing non-coated paper. Right, so this is for you know offset printing purpose. You know this paper is, but when you print this one uncoated paper, you know you can't print with even you know the water based ink. Even you cannot do latex or solvent. But I proof that the you know, UV LED printing, you can print that. Also the quality of this you know the texture on the file or this small text is really showing that the you know the as long as I know the product the productivity is not in concern you can really get the uh, you know the decent quality and decent outcome with the uh, uncoated paper 
So from an application point of view, um, UCJB 300 has been successful with those unique points, like I know it letting a customer to feel that they are in a way next step for our business. While customer is doing a, um, a vehicle wrapping as generic signage and so on with an eco solvent printing or latex, they immediately add those printers in order to print white for window film and labels, you know, to you know increase their you know, productivity and uh, you know, type of the application more than five times than the you know their previous you know businesses and so on, which looks successful. What's not successful was the you know again I told you um, the job which is involving a laminate. <coughs> Especially in a country such as Australia, uh, Northern, uh, Northern America, and the Western Europe, where the you know, laminate is still popular and laminate, you know, the laminate film is used for their car wrapping. We haven't been really, you know, the successful with penetrating the, uh, you know, the car wrapping market. We have tried some, some customers start using this, but I know that so what it is is well. Of course, you know, instead of having a five or six different films, you need to, you know, minimize the, uh, you know, capability with three or two or three different films for doing that. Not only that, but the people already used to with their car wrapping, with the eco solvent printing, um, because you see like how soft the you know, media, the stock will be after printed by you know, eco solvent. So it's like, you know, if you have the uh, you know, really dent part of a motorcycle, but you can easily do a heat gun and you can push with a finger and that, you know, the, the vinyl will stretch out easily in order to, you know, the after printing eco solvent and the vinyl stretches out for like a five centimeters of a depth of, you know, you know, the motorcycle part, but the UV, you know, UV ink only stretches out up to 200%. All right, so you, even you use a heat gun and you're trying to expand the, uh, you know, the, this, you know, PVC film. Yes, PVC film has a capability to, you know, the expand for like, uh, you know, five centimeters easily, but the ink only expands to 200%. So it can go probably five millimeters of a little you know, curved surface while it's applying, but it's not like a five centimeters for like a, that deep part. So by, you know, eco solvent, the benefit is, you know, the, how much it softens out the, uh, you know, media after printing. But the people, you know, existing for existing people in existing vehicle graphic market is so used to, you know, to apply easily with eco solvent. So I think, you know, for next, uh, you know, coming months or coming years, I think, you know, penetrating, uh, you know, the UCJ, uh, penetrating, penetrating car wrapping, uh, car wrapping application market with a UV printer is quite difficult. Because customer first need to change mind. That say, hey, I'm gonna switch over to you know, I'm gonna switch over to my printer to more you know the versatility, but we will miss that convenience of application, that type of thing. So, but anyway, you know, it's probably not our next uh, step in uh, Mimaki Australia. It's like a marketing point of view in how we penetrate the uh, you know solvent uh, latex in existing market. All right, 